Red, white, and blue. Colors that represent America and its elite Air Force Demonstration Squadron. Joint Base Elmendorf Richardson is buzzing with activity. Pilots are being briefed on the two day long event, including crew members and a few drop ins, including myself. Um, chin, not all the way back on the seat, right? Because then you caught like this and not all the way talk. So just slightly talk, you know, like kind of watching TV on a weekend, kind of hang out, just like that. Flying in an F 16 takes technique, and the Thunderbird spent more than three hours teaching me the basics on the proper body positioning, muscle contractions, and most importantly, the certain way to breathe when pulling what pilots call G's. Good. All right, make ready for G's back there? Yep. All right, here they come. Good. Crew members made sure I was properly fitted for a G-suit. Gear pilots used to perform high altitude maneuvers at their very best. And after takeoff, me and that G-suit were best friends. My pilot, Captain Michael Fisher, also known as Draco, has logged more than 1,400 flight hours as an Air Force pilot, so I knew I was in good hands. High above the Denali range, we pulled 6.8 Gs and performed aerial maneuvers like barrel rolls, arrowhead loop and roll, and knife edge. I love seeing the kids get fired up. They see the jets flying around and that just makes them super excited. This weekend, Alaskans should expect to see up to six pilots performing 20 to 30 maneuvers during the demonstration to show off the raw power of the F-16. And uh, doing that with uh, both the diamond formation, the solo formations, and the delta formation when they bring it all together and fly 18 to 36 inches apart from each other. Flying high-powered jets 16,000 feet in the air is another day in the office for the Thunderbirds. But the pilots say it's being able to share their stories with the community and maybe lighting that spark in our future generation. So we come out here to Elmendorf this weekend to showcase that pride, precision, and professionalism to the folks here in Anchorage and uh, just interact with them, bring the airmen's stories to them and to show them what it is that their airmen are doing every single day as they uh, go out to work. Megan Mazurik, your Alaska Link.